time scaling property of Fourier transform. The Fourier transform of Ht is x omega where x omega is integration of xt to the power minus j omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity then what should be the Fourier transform of x a t where a is real number So let's find the Fourier transform of x a t. Fourier transform of x a t is integration of x a t e to the power minus j omega t. Now let us take a t as k, another variable. So d t is now d k by a. If a t is t, then then also there is no change in the limits of integration. So Fourier transform of x a t is integration of x k e to the power minus j omega. In place of t, we write k by a and dt is replaced by dk by a. So the Fourier transform is 1 by a integration of xk e to the power minus j omega by a k <coughs> sorry. Now we compare the two expression expressions expression for x omega and the expression for Fourier transform of x a t this in the expression of x omega here we have omega that's why we write x omega now for this integration in place of omega we have omega by a so we write it like this 1 by a x omega by a. So the Fourier transform of x a t is 1 by a x omega by a. Now here a is positive then we get the positive value of a. If a is negative here then also we get the positive value of 1 by a. So in general we write Fourier transform of x a t as 1 by mod a x omega by a and in terms of f Fourier transform of x t is x f. So Fourier transform of x a t should be 1 by mod a x f by a. Now let's see one example of time scaling property. We know the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse. is sync function sync f now if this rectangular pulse is expanded expanded by 2 in time domain then the Fourier transform of new signal vec t by 2 will be 1 by mod of 1 by 2 1 by 2 
sink f by 2 or the Fourier transform of rect t by 2 is twice of sink f by 2. Similarly, if rectangular pulse is compressed by 2, that means rectangular pulse is now rect 2t, then its Fourier transform will be 1 upon mod 2 sink Oh, there is a mistake. That should be F by 1 by 2. So the Fourier transform of rect T by 2 should be twice of sink to F. And Fourier transform of rect 2t is 1 by mod 2 sink f by 2. So Fourier transform of rect 2t is 1 by 2 sink f by 2. That's how we can uh, find the Fourier transform of signals using the time scaling properties of time scaling property of Fourier transform.